Okay, so today is my third day of my third session of working on this painting and it is Monday and I need to work on it and get this like this refining layer completed in order to have it set up and hopefully dry enough to work on on Wednesday so I'm gonna oil in and I'm using a fatter layer of oil than I used previously because fat over lean requires oil painting requires a fat over lean uh, consistency so because of so for the my first layer of oil paint had uh, straight oil, straight paint from the tube, then down a little bit with odorless myrtle spirits, my solvent. And then the next time I painted, I used my my pre-mixed medium called da with Damar varnish, which is also a solvent, so it's leaner than oil, linseed oil and terp, which is odorless mineral spirits. Um, I used Gamsol as my terp in this solution. So it's a one to one ratio. And I and this is a leaner oil um, than what I'm gonna be using today to oil in and mix. Um, and I'll, since, oh dear, see that? That means my white, that that area is not fully set up because it's smearing. Um, I use lead white, which dries faster than titanium white. I have considered exploring using the Gamlin Fast Matte titanium white because that will set up in 24 hours, similar to like a lead white. The only thing is I really dislike the opaqueness of, and like the, just the handling consistency, texture, blah, 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 of titanium white as a whole. So because of that, I haven't done much experimenting with the Gamlin Fast Matte White um, because of that. And Gamlin does make another titanium white that's called titanium white, flake white replacement. The only thing is it's, it is a true titanium white. So that means it takes the five days to set up. It doesn't, it doesn't set up. It, it may be supposedly more consistent like a lead white. Oops, that one also, that leaf right there is also not fully set up. Uh, it might be a little bit, it might have the, the, the paint handling texture of a flake white, but it has the drying properties of a titanium white, which it's not just the, the paint handling that makes lead white so fantastic. Granted, the 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 paint, paint handling of lead white does make it pretty dang fantastic, but it has more to it has more to do with the way it mixes with other colors and doesn't create a chalkiness and And that's something that you always want to be aware of. And it doesn't, the chalkiness doesn't always show up with titanium white while you're painting. It's like after the painting has oxidized some and that's when the chalkiness will show up. And that's, and that's tough because that's not always something that you can handle and control while you're, you know, while you're in the painting process. So, okay, so now I need to make sure that, okay, so that's a little bit drippy in there. So I gotta make, when you're oiling in, you don't want it to get too drippy. You wanna oil in pretty evenly. And if, if you're not oiling evenly, you need, ah, shoot. Some of the green of the ginger jar is not set up well also, unfortunately. I need to oh 
Okay. So now I've oiled in. This is one to one odorless mineral spirits to linseed oil. This is a little bit fatter than my previous medium that I was using in the last painting session. I clean, I clean off the rim of the lid. And this is a Spice Islands jar. I, um, these are my favorite jars for making. And also the, I think you get these from Whole Foods. This is a Whole Foods um, um, spice jar too. They're the best. You want glass with a metal lid. So when you buy your spices, buy buy those spices, buy spices that um, that come like that. So that way, when you've gone through your spices, you can repurpose the jars for your art career and your your art practice. Okay, so now I'm going through and looking at my painting from a, an angle. I'm looking at it askance to see like thickly oiled in areas because you don't want thick oiled in areas. You want you 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 want it to be oiled in, yes, but you want it to be uh, mild because otherwise what happens is that when you finish the painting you'll have these weird slick areas that just don't work out well um, they look awful um, post so let's see that's looking pretty good okay so I have oiled in like how everything is going. I might put in a little bit into the background. Yeah, I'll work in the background some. Also, I was painting upstairs, so I just, I just noticed a couple of cat hairs, so I'm pulling those out. Yeah, I think overall it looks pretty good. So now it's time to Oh dear, big oil drop right there. Yeah. Big, big oil drop. What? Oh, and someone pointed out to me that I accidentally spelled love when I was laying in the the paint the the roses from last week. And Okay, so now I need to get going and get started on my on my flowers and getting the next layer of the painting in. Okay, so I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. So I'll just talk about what I was doing. I was laying in, I laid in the foreground paint. I put in a new layer of my background color and kind of painted close to and kind of over my edges. So that way I don't get a paper cut visual effect with my painting. Also, when I oil in, it's I make a goal of covering the entire surf painting surface with a new layer of paint. And that's just so that way I don't get really weird, oily sections that um, can make a painting look bad at the end. So if, it's a, if I'm working on a big piece, I won't oil in the whole area. I'll only oil in the area that I know I'm gonna work in to make sure I preserve the surface quality that I want in a painting. And if you, um, and one thing is that I, I never, 
like when I'm blocking in a painting, I start with my my biggest, most important thing. But as I continue to work on a painting and develop it, I I sneak up to my my main subject matter, and that's because. I sneak up to my main subject matter because I want to slowly get there and I slowly want to to cover the slowly want to get up to my rose and just sneak up to it so that way I know I'll be I'm in I've thought about my painting enough I've I'm committed to how it's evolving this painting session it just overall helps me out
now it's time for me to start fixing and refining this back, this main rose. And I start back to front, and I want my rose petals. And I'm gonna, I'm establishing my lights first. With the intention that like those shot that shadow shape right there will go in I'll probably I'll lay down the warm and then I'll lay down the cool and then I'll lay down a warm again on top of that will be a, a building up of, of different colors celebration gets older and gets exposed to the sunlight the outer petals bleach out and that's what's happening with this flower now what's going on <laughs> 